Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Jacob, and in this quick video, I'm going to be showing you the very basics of CSS animations. So first off, what are animations? Well, it's a series of frames that a screen or of some sort will display in rapid succession to give the appearance of movement. In CSS, however, we don't have to define every single frame because that would be a whole ton of work. So instead, we have the browser decide which frames to generate, and then it will display them for us. We only have to give them we only have to give the browser the values that it needs at key moments called keyframes in order for it to decide what the animation should look like. So for example, if we wanted to animate the width of an element, we would have to tell the browser that we're animating the width and that we want the animation to take, say, one second, and we want to animate from 100 pixels to 300 pixels of width. And we don't have to fill in every single value in between the browser will do that for us. So how do we put this in CSS? Well, the syntax for defining an animation is at keyframes, and then the name of the animation. So animate width, for example. And then inside of here, we'll go from a width of 100 pixels to a width of 300 pixels. And we haven't defined the time yet because that comes when we actually animate the element and apply the animation. So I'm going to create a quick element here for us to work with. div class equals animate. OK, so there's our div. And let's apply some rudimentary styles to it so we can just see what it looks like. So animate, animate this one. And we're going to give it a width of 100 pixels, a height of 100 pixels, a background color of red so we can see it. And then we'll apply the animation. So we'll say animation is animate width. And then how long does it take? One second. And there we go. There's our animation. Now there are a number of modifiers that we can add to this animation rule, such as infinite. So it'll keep going. Infinite alternate which means that it'll go and then it'll go backwards. And then we can add some timing functions too. For example, linear, because, and then it'll just go at a constant rate, as opposed to, for example, easing out of the animation, like it's doing now, or easing in. And we also have ease in out. And there are a couple other timing functions predefined where you can define your own. But that's beyond the scope of this video. Of course, it's kind of boring if we can only animate, for example, one rule. So we can also say background color goes from red. And then go to background color blue. I'll animate that. I'm going to remove this modifier so we can just see the plain animation. OK. And we can also add more than just from and to, because from and to are just basically aliases for 0% of the way through the animation and 100% of the way through the animation. See, it works the same. But this means we can also add intermediate values between 0 and 100. For example, at 50%, change the background color to green. And now at the very middle of the animation, it'll change to a green background color. All right, everybody, there's so much more you can do with CSS animations, but this is it for your basic intro. Hope you enjoyed it. Go out there and do some research and see what kind of cool stuff you can come up with. Anyways, my name is Jacob. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and have a good one.